Ah, can anybody, can anybody lend me a paw here, please? Maybe, maybe this will work. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Hey everybody, Coda here, yup, it's that dog, and I have a topic that I've been wanting to cover for a while now. And that topic is, if you haven't guessed it, furry clothing and apparel companies. Now, there is several of them out in the fandom, and you probably know some of them and you, some of them you might not have heard of as much, but in this video, we're gonna cover at least five of them. Five. And I'm really excited to talk about these five clothing and apparel companies, so let's get started with none other than Nomad Complex. So, going into Nomad Complex a bit and their history, Nomad Complex is a small clothing and apparel company and brand from Vancouver, BC, founded in January of 2016 by Zachary Panda. Today, it was run by himself and Tefakita, who are married, with their dogs, Crouton and Noodles, and their industrial all-wheel drive customer service expert, product tester, and residential model, Fursuit Damon. Now, just a second fun fact, Tef Akita used to be part of Kitty Loves Monster. For those who don't know, that was a very well-known and loved furry clothing brand during its time. You know, which actually brings me to note that during the debut of Nomad Complex, who isn't K&M, they bought the beloved band animals back to life from them with their full support and permission, which made every furry like super happy by the news before Kitty Loves Monster closed their stores. Nomad Complex is a highly regarded in the fandom as a premium furry clothing company and brand. Some of these reasons are in their company commandments of standards they set for themselves. So one being that nothing will ever be print to order. Nomad Complex is not the middle man. They do not rely on drop shipping or POD services. Most of what they make is printed in their own home and in their own equipment and shipped out to you directly. So to that point, secondly, everything they make is high quality. They want to sell you something that is your new favorite and that you will love and wear to death, not using any cheap or quick fashion cuts. I have a lot of personal experience with Nomad Complex since I myself have met and known both individuals and own several pieces of clothing from them. I have shirts, hoodies, underwear, <laughs> the list goes on. And wearing their clothing over the years, I can confidently say that the quality of the products is top notch. Some of the article of clothing I have owned go back about four to six years, like the favorite wild dog shirt that I'm wearing. And it still looks practically new. Like, look at it, it looks great. And I've worn it a lot, so that says a lot. So there is a lot to say about clothing that you travel around and wear a lot, because let's be fair, there's clothing that I have bought personally and wore that is like, <laughs> it's dead after a year. So the artwork style and designs of all the clothing is just straight up fire. It combines some very aesthetically pleasing designs with a streetwear feel and just enough ambiguity that you could wear it anywhere and not be overtly in your face furry. So what I'm saying is it's mostly like the low key if you want, though some of their designs, you know, could turn up the furry dial quite a bit. There have been a handful of instances where I've been wearing my Nomad Complex shirt and hoodie. You know, I'm going out shopping, I'm at a family function or I'm going to grocery shopping. I'm getting up to the line and then like, employee comes over and they're like, yo, bro, where'd you get that shirt? I love it. And they have no idea it comes from a furry based company. So all in all, Nomad Complex is an amazing furry clothing company and brand with lots to offer to the fandom. So check them out on their website and also their physical store in downtown Vancouver, which has been open to the public since October 2021. Next thing I'm going to talk about is, bro, can you, can you record properly? So this next clothing company, if you haven't guessed it by the shirt I'm wearing, yep, it is Hyena Agenda. And you know what? Not gonna lie, I'm kind of digging the blue and orange. But going into Hyena Agenda, let's talk about them a little bit. They are a small artist-owned clothing company based out of Phoenix, Arizona. They officially launched at Biggest Little Fur Con in May 2013 by artist and owner Frau Lion. Since their debut, they have attended many conventions and were even a guest of honor for Philadelphia 2018, which I was at. And they have designed the convention t-shirt for that year. The most designs are created in-house by Fraulein, but they occasionally collaborate with outside artists as well. Hyena Agenda also has been assisting charitable organizations and causes over the years, such as the Hyena Sanctuary of North America and Project Hyena Diorama. Now, 
Hyena Agenda is another company I had the pleasure of wearing over the years. One of my favorite shirts I have currently is the Graffiti Blue. And I also own some of the <laughs> Barking Black Hyena shirts. Now, the design and vibrancy of the clothing and products have a good range of styles, including streetwear, cyberpunk, graffiti, and inspired by some anime series. When they really want to use color outside the black and white and grayscale designs, it really packs a punch. With vibrancy, you can see like all across the room. Now, they have a good balance of low key and high key furry art on their clothing, allowing you to wear a lot in different public settings, only recognized by furries as furry based shirts. Now, again, I've worn my shirt at family functions and you know, casual events or going shopping. And I would have someone come up to me and be like, hey, that's a really cool shirt, I like the color, but they have no idea it's a furry based company. But then on the flip side, I met a couple furries out shopping where they have stopped by after recognizing my shirt and being like, hey, it's nice to meet you. So in other words, it's another great way to like meet friends and others in the fandom as well. Hyena Jet is just another company that focuses heavily on in-house. The quality of the apparel is top notch. I have worn my favorite shirts over and over again over the years and they have stood the test of time still looking vibrant and new despite how many cons and traveling I've done. As you can see, looking pretty good. Now, Hyena Jenna is a company that has been around forever, supporting the community with a stellar reputation, with clean yet strong, bold art style and use of color. So go check them out. So another brand that you have seen many times around the fandom and at conventions, which is anything but camp, <laughs> it's Camp Hal. Camp Hal is an artist owned furry brand specializing in colorful apparel and accessories. But before they were Camp Hal, they operated under Lydia Arts and Crafts, which I found posts dating back from June 2016, selling their many pieces of arts, crafts, and accessories. On December 5th of 2019, they officially rebranded as Camp Hal at the Con MFF. Currently, the company operates in North Atlanta as a small two-person operation with Clyde and their partner. Now, when I think of Camp Hal, I first think of the colors. Their apparel and accessories are saturated in brilliant, vibrant colors that you can spot in a crowd without fail, like my orange here. <laughs> they have quite the skill in putting amazing color schemes together to create the best effect in their products. And in terms of graphics and styles, I would definitely place their clothing on the more high-key furry end. So furries and non-furries alike could look at the design aesthetic you're wearing and recognize it as furry or furry adjacent. Now, when it comes to their clothing and accessories, I noticed they have an affinity towards the all-over print aesthetic, which when paired with their art style actually complements very well. Along with their clothing, I do admire their huge collection of accessories that you can pair up with your favorite outfit or sport around the house or a convention. One product I've seen quite a bit around the cons is their backpacks, which are quite vibrant, colorful, and cute. So if you are looking to grab their latest clothing and accessories, you might realize that most of Camp House inventory is very low at the moment. But don't you worry, they will be refilling their stock and vending at a con near you soon. So till then, make sure you do follow their social media and read their blog on their website for the most up-to-date information. Personally, Camp Hal can color me impressed with their apparel and accessories, which I look forward to owning some myself at future events. Now, though I look innocent, I know, right? There is some trouble I have no problem getting into, and that's the impressive clothing and accessories from Koyotic Trouble. Koyotic Trouble, ran by RJ and Karatsu, is a coyote duo making thoughtful and eco-friendly merch to help people and the earth. They are very passionate about creating art and provide opportunities for introspection, growth, and fostering empathy for each other. Their approach to art is influenced by their Buddhist path of reducing suffering for all. Now, I want to reiterate that I truly admire their eco-friendly practices. They care about using sustainable materials like organic cotton, eco-resin, and RPET plus fabric for the clothing and accessories. They even use as much recycled packaging as possible for the products and ship without, you know, invoices or gift notes to avoid using paper. Pretty awesome, right? Now, not gonna lie, I love coyotes. So when I sold the products, I noticed right away that even though they have some other species in their designs, the rest of the majority are, you guessed it, coyotes. And I am not mad about it. <laughs> their selection of products is epic. 
Not only do they have a wide selection of apparel outside the norms, but they have practically anything you could ever want, like tapestries, accessories, plushies, even coffee and keychains. Like the list goes on and on. Hell, they even make VR chat models and RJ is the creator of a game on Steam called Star Shifting, a game about shape shifting desert animals and finding your place with the support and help of others in her small team. Pretty awesome, right? Okay, so like going back to the clothing, as I comb through their stuff, I notice a lot of their clothing leads more towards the low key furry end with the unique aesthetic direction and graphics. They are very well executed with a collection of different style approaches to create variations in their apparel. But there is also noticeably a lot of artwork that is super cute and it has a feel good vibe. Like when I'm on their website, I'm like seeing some of this stuff and I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And I'm like, holy shit, I just really want that. Ah, it, 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 it's awesome. You'll see what I mean. Honestly, the only unfortunate thing here is going to be my wallet because if I spend too much time on that website, it's going to burn a hole right through it. But you know what? I would happily do that because, again, not only does their stuff slap, but portions of their monthly profits are donated to causes like Green Air Task Force, Forest Protection through the Rainforest Trust, Plant-Based Meals through Food for Life Global, and more. They also purchase a tree through EcoAsia every five orders placed on their store. Koi out of trouble, you are amazing all around. Seriously, go check them out. Okay, for our last company, since I'm on a roll with Wordplay today, I'm gonna lay one more on you. So even though furries would give you a glare when you're starting a howl. Gary, quit it. You're gonna start a howl. I didn't start it. Some howls are worth it. Like our next furry brand, Howl Out. Howl Out is a furry streetwear brand run by indigenous and LGBTQ plus folks. They are a small team focusing on bringing a unique twist to furry through clothing, blankets, and other small merch. So the owner and artist running Howl Out Wolf, Tomiyokitu, is an indigenous nominant and Mexican independent, two-spirited transgender artist and activist for indigenous rights. He uses a platform and shop for raising awareness surrounding indigenous injustices and fundraising for the BIPOC communities. With the help of the wonderfully supported furry community and through his art, he has donated to the Indian Residential School Survivors Organization, to the Comanche Language and Cultural Preservation Committee, to Navajo Communities in Need, to the Okra Project, to two-spirited organizations, to fight and protect Mauna Kea, and to fight against Line 3, a pipeline that threatens Anishinaabe treaty lands. Now, I had the absolute pleasure of visiting Halal at their table at MFF last year, and I was instantly taken and impressed by their products. Right away, I found out that there was a lot of beauty in their designs, from the highly intricate cyberpunk styles, to the homage to indigenous culture, to the unique twist and combo on both. I also enjoyed looking over their use of color. So even though the color that looks slightly more subdued at glance in some of their apparel, it really packs quite a punch and complements the design very well. And their use of achromatic color scheme in their products, in my opinion, is mwah, chef's kiss. So a side note, one unique thing that they do outside of apparel is their blankets. Their woven ones, for example, are just stunning and well-crafted, something I would gladly have in my home. My friend came with me to the table, saw the blanket, gone instantly. Not even a second thought. It was really funny. <laughs> so after chatting with the owner and hovering around the table, I ended up buying their HAL X77 black tee and pre-ordered their tech hoodie on display. It was like straight fire. Like, look, look at this stuff. Oh, look at this tea. Ah, oh, I know it's like great. It's just so nice. I love it. Great, great stuff. Great purchase. So, you know, if you look over their website, you will see a nice line of products with several new ones on the horizon very soon, like their bucket hats, chest bags, and that HAL X77 tech hoodie that I pre-ordered. So HAL in general is a fairly new company with a strong vision and brand and all the potential to reach new heights and greater. So, you know, keep it up. Amazing, check them out, you won't regret it. That's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you haven't already, please like, follow, and subscribe because it really helps this dog go on the channel out. And let me know in the comments what you think of these furry clothing and apparel lines and some that you love. Again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, until next time.